Yeah, we're gonna go straight into it with um <laughs> I don't know if it's ironic yeah, you know like this, but <laughs> it seems like he's he's ready to start anyway. Yeah, exactly. And uh there are come on mirrors, which probably isn't the most interesting matchup, but uh by the looks of it the so, actually, I think it's probably the best TWC server, right? Uh, Ilkra. Yeah. Um. I don't know. I think if you're excited, it's gonna it's gonna rush this game because he's been just. Uh, I've been watching his streams and every every time he's playing Iro, he's playing Colonial, maybe even doing fast H up and just trying to rush with the Tomahawks. Yeah, but I don't think you want to do that really on uh, a mirror. Do you? Yeah, you don't you don't want to do it on Iron Mirror, but I don't know if if Dictator is not ready and it comes out of surprise. I don't think he's been watching the streams much. I think there's a chance it can work. Uh, yeah, and it is. Uh, it's actually a food start, so obviously the start doesn't matter too much because uh, it's going to be even. Um, but uh, one thing to look out for on this map in particular is, is those uh, Renegado sort of treasures. Uh, I need to change. <laughs> yeah, this this all maps up like H1 is going to be up to Renegado. That's why it's it's kind of stupid. Like I, mean, I don't know if if I was playing this maps up, I would just completely ignore all other treasures and just go find the Renegado because it's everything that matters. After you get the Renegado, you get all the treasures in the map. Yeah, and uh, look by the looks of it, give you anxiety. It's you're gonna, gonna find yeah, one right gonna here. Take it. And it's two, and it's and it's ninety five wood. I mean, ninety five wood, you can actually go for a TP. Early. That's that's the best treasure you can you can find. But I don't know, he's just walking past. Yeah, he's he's gonna he's definitely gonna take it. Um, I, I hope he does at least. But he's so slow. There's a chance that the dictator is gonna. Okay, he's he's turning to other direction. Yeah, dictator is. I think there is more down there. There's a. Uh, I believe there's a Cherokee rifleman treasure somewhere on this map normally. Oh, there's a medicine map, which is dreadful. Yeah, but nothing spawned on the on the bottom. And yeah, the actually, is going there. It seems like this this H1 can end up a, a disaster for for dictator. Yeah, especially if that, uh, that outlaw rifleman is getting taken straight away. The, uh, the obviously the Iroquois, uh, chief is very strong, um, but. Uh, uh but if he's, if give you excited is gonna play this clever, he's just gonna camp the TPs uh, like after three minutes, and it's gonna be so hard to take the TPs, dictator, and the Renegado is gonna be harassing him. Yeah, even harder than uh, sort of a, a normal Eurosiv as well, because um, obviously Eurosivs have the crack shot, which they can crack shot the rifleman if uh, the person controlling the rifleman doesn't. Control yeah, exactly. Too well. But as uh, but it just, if there's nothing you can do, <laughs> he's gonna pick up eighty food now as well. Uh, I mean, you see, I think it's Coco, gonna get stolen. Coco might steal it, but again, he can't really. Coco can't really even stand around there because just because of that rifleman is so powerful. But I don't know if he paid attention. Does he know about the rifleman? Uh, I mean, I don't know. Maybe he does. Maybe he doesn't. But he, he's gonna get. He he can't contest this, even though the uh, other chief is, is lower HP. Sixty food uh, Geo is gonna pick up as well, and Coco sort of had an idle age one. He hasn't really done anything here. Yes, uh, this this H1 is going very strictly to keep you anxiety. It's a dream start for him. Exactly, and uh, I mean the longhouse is obviously going to go up now. So, uh, but uh, 60 food, there you go. And uh, yeah, I think he's he's able to edge up one wheel faster than than. Oh, this, yeah, he's going to, and um, he's also have 95 wood, so he's going to get that TP up slightly earlier as well. Um, what is nice about this is he's. Uh, Conquer is gonna get the uh, he's gonna get the Iroko Tomahawk here, which. Um, but if Give Excited is gonna play clever, like he's gonna crack shots and just one shot from Renekai on the Tomahawk is is, is done. Yeah, so the... I don't think it's too much of help here. Yeah, crack shot doing what ninety damage, uh, age one or something ridiculous. Um, but he actually saying that Conquer. Oh, I don't okay, know. That's some bit lag. lag. But Wait, I, I think it's fine. I think we should pause for a moment because I might have the stream. No, I don't. I'm just gonna close everything. <laughs> this seems a bit <laughs> bad if it's already laggy. Are you ready? Yes. But I'm not sure if yes. it's about me. I, d I mean, it doesn't matter. I mean, we, we might as well close stuff. And uh, but uh, I mean, the uh, TTP that he finds here, Conquer, isn't. He's not gonna be too unhappy about. But that. it's gonna be hard to take without the convert, and he's quite low HP as well. Yeah, maybe he needs to wait until he gets a bit more HP, and you can use the black bears to tank when you convert them. But um, yeah, as you said, I mean, he can't really go for a TP here. Uh, and that's a disaster. Like, uh, that uh, he's he's aging thirty seconds slower without the TP. Yeah, exactly. And uh, 
and he has to chop more wood because uh, GOA got that 95 wood treasure, which is probably the best on the map. And um, yeah, there's no way Congo can get down here unless he just has to wait for the next age, right? And go for something like four. Um, um... But still, it's going to make so much damage even if he gets the extra HP. I mean, he can go for like the, uh, he can go for the villager, just pushing it down, I guess. Yeah, but, but it's going to uh... build it forever. And here we go, he's oh, trying to go yeah. for the TP. But I don't think Give You Anxiety has the line of sight yet because the Okay he does, he does, and here we go. It's it's gonna go down, he has to pull it back. Yeah, he has to pull it back and lose the next floor, especially if he if uh, GUA goes for sort of age one aggressiveness, it's gonna be huge. He's definitely gonna lose it. I mean there's no way he's getting up now, especially if he gets <laughs> a snare. It, it's just yeah. a disaster for him. I mean he's probably able to build it with the villager. Actually, but, the guy's gonna get back up. I think he can build it because we learned of a site from the unbuilt trading post. But he's gonna lose again. It's gonna be another 100 XP for for give you anxiety. But the, the tomahawk does come in, which sort of uh, gets them off of it. But if it if it does the crack shot, it's gonna die like in one shot. But I don't know why he's, he's not using build it. Build TP, Dick. Come on, build it. <laughs> Shoot it. <laughs> come on, come on. The bear is well on the I And mean, like he's been preparing yeah. for fucking. This mats up for so long and he doesn't know about crack shot. That's that's really bad. Yeah, I mean <laughs> uh the crack shot doesn't do very much damage against um sort of uh the guardians, does it? It just when I converted it does quite a lot of damage. Or the uh, the tomahawk it does a lot of damage it is. Yeah. But um But anyway, it doesn't change too much. No, it doesn't change too much. As well, Dick has obviously uh, scouted that CDB as we can go But still, killing the hero for a second time would have been like, I don't know, some other player could rage quit from there, but of course he's against Kiwi Anxiety, so... Yeah. Um, <laughs> let's look at the differences in the builds here. Um, GUI actually hasn't shipped anything, which tells it's... me he's probably big shipping... Big button is coming, he's rushing. Just yeah, as I said buttons. before the game. He's gonna do, now it's gonna be four Kanyas, and he's gonna put pressure. Yeah, and he obviously had a slightly later shipment, but what you do is you wait for that uh, Warhot to go down and then you ship the shipment, so you can get the cannon slightly more forward. Maybe he'll go for five more, um, or six Tomahawks uh, instead, but I think by the population it's, um, it's Kenya. Although, Dick no, oh, it's... it's five villagers even, <laughs> but... Um... Yeah, but with the Kenya he could have taken this hero down already, so yeah. I'm not sure if I like it. And that hero getting actually a decent crack shot off. I mean, a couple of those uh, tomahawks are now sort of half HP. The uh, TP is going to go down, but it seems like they, they had an original plan properly doing FF, but now he's, he's changing his mind. He's calling the big button as well, trying to defend his TP. Yeah, and obviously the big button being five tomahawks. Uh, he's not going to be able to defend it. That TP is definitely going to go down. Yeah, it's, it's going down, but maybe he's, he thinks that uh, it's too oh. risky. Well, that's awful. Um, it was big forward, even over the TP's. I, I think this is a good trade for Kiwi Anxiety. Those two Anas are doing a lot of damage, and the Tomahawk yeah. is count is quite even. Although he needs to bring his uh, his explorer a bit more in because half those Tomahawks aren't getting the buff. But, and the uh, hero, it's about to go down. 44 HP. And it's, this isn't all in at all by. Um, yeah, he needs to target it. There you go. There's the hero. Another 100 XP. That's basically a quarter of a ship. Yeah, time. he's doing so much damage and he even shipped five and four wheels. So is this. He's shipping eco cards and pushing the same time. And yeah, and um, at the same time, Dictator unfortunately shipped those, uh, those uh, resources to the wrong point. So if he did get pushed by the bigger army, he would have got off those uh, resource crates. But honestly, he could just take the TP down now, can't he? Um, Dictator's now stacking quite a lot of resources and. Isn't gonna have another shipment for a while. I'm saying that he's gonna get one just in a second. But um, mm, give you anxiety. He's going for 600 gold, and he's probably gonna to try to age up. Though I think the 800 crates would have been better. But this is okay, I guess as well. A bit faster to age up. Yeah, I would have liked him to see uh, see another trading post go down, so he can just get that big advantage. But um, I think uh, I think Dictator's gonna get another T uh, T uh, put the TP down himself. He has four wood stacks. He might as well. And GUA is actually going to get up faster with the larger eco and uh, doing some damage of that, of that TP going down. This looks amazing for give you anxiety because uh, now Dictator is, is making colonial units and not really pushing and give you anxiety is going to get a 3h3. Yeah, exactly, and obviously um, he's going to have, as I said, a better better eco. And, G and he also has the, uh, the crates he can ship again, and he's basically a shipment ahead uh, at this point uh, because of the XP he's got. 
Yeah, he's he's ahead he's in everything. Win. Everything right now. He has all the keys to win this game. Yeah, and um, uh, at the same time, when he ages up, he's going to age up a lot faster with the, uh, the uh, messenger politician. There's a bit of a bit of lag there. I don't know what that's about. But um, he's, he's definitely going to just basically push faster. And if he can get a mass up before Kolka is able to get up, Kolka not even aging yet, so he's going to be... How fast is the messenger? I think it's 40 seconds, isn't it? Or 50 seconds. He's yeah. basically 50 it, seconds ahead of Kolka. He point. has more units... It's going to be almost one minute faster, and he's going to have so much time to make damage. Like, I, I think the only way to lose this anymore is just wait until Dictator gets the mass and outplays him. But if he's if he uses his advantage, I think he should win this game. Yeah, exactly. And he also has that black bear, which he's just going to use to scout and see what Dick's doing. Dick is now putting another Warheart in base. But he doesn't have that TP, he doesn't have that, uh, that uh, income of XP that he sort of needs. And at the same time, GU actually got two shots off. Uh, t uh, he took down the Explorer twice, so that's an extra 200 HP. So, yeah, GU is ahead on, uh, ahead on a shipment. He's probably shipping first parlors now. And then he's going to back-to-back basically have a shipment, and Dictator's just not going to. And and he doesn't have... Dictator doesn't have any hunts either. Like, he's, he's hunting here. So there's no cover. If Give you Anxiety realizes this and goes, now there's nothing Dictator can do to defend this this hunt. Yeah, the silver lining uh, Dictator does have is he does have placer mines, and GUA has sort of neglected that, which he should probably get, um, because obviously Iroquois take a lot of coin. But um, yeah, saying that, he's only got sort of two mines left, one half uh, half taken, and that hunt at the top is his only hunt. And, and here comes so many units to his base. He's yeah. going to have so hard time defending this. 31 to 7, which is, is pretty incredible, actually. That's just a, a ridiculous difference. And uh, <laughs> we're just going to push up here and... Uh, yeah, he's, he's doing the right thing, you. but he's maybe being a bit too slow here. Like, he should use this advantage right now. Yeah, I think he's just trying to contain it. He's just giving enough time for Dictator to have V8 first power. He's, he, because of the two... Um, uh, yeah, I mean, I think Dictator's actually in a better position here, simply because um, these musket riders aren't too good against the first power. There's no horseback or canyons or anything. And here um, should come the crack shot, but he doesn't use it. And this is exactly what Give You Anxiety should not be doing. Like, he's, he's poking so slowly, getting there, and now he is just losing units going yeah. back. He gave and, too much time to mass half piece. And shipping musket riders now, which is just wrong. I mean, he should have shipped Kanya here, which would have been so much better. He knows the Kato hasn't got a stable in base. Oh, he does have a stable in base, actually. But, uh, I mean, if he just shipped six Kanya and half piece and then. Uh, just went in. I mean, Rusty hunts. This game would be over. Yeah, exactly. And, no, no, um, he's, he's he's giving another chance for Dictator to come back to this game. Yeah, and Dictator even able now to ship uh, sort of 1,200 resource crates, which is obviously a better shipment of five musket riders if you're not if you can uh, handle the pressure off of it. And he can just control the top of his map here, where so many of the uh, resources actually are. And um, GUA sort of throwing away his advantage, saying that GUA is ahead on military and he's also ahead in eco now and he's now got placer mines so the eco is uh, definitely skewed in his favor six villages ahead but dictator's not doing too badly himself now yeah you're you're right like he's six villagers and one tp ahead so it kind of makes sense to stay back but i'm just afraid that he's gonna get outplayed like like waiting is is the right decision for sure but still it it gives dictator a chance to out outplay him when he, I feel like he could have finished this game already. Yeah, exactly. And uh, at the same time, these villagers up here might be in a bit of trouble. I mean, three tomahawks, uh, if they get into melee against the villagers, they, they tend to do quite a lot of damage. So yeah. a couple of those might go down. And GUA's uh, eco lead is probably going to dwindle in a minute. And at the same time, Conquer looks like he's going to push here. And Yeah, that's clever, right? I don't think he's going to ever know this is right. Forville's going to go down. Yeah, and actually, Conquer. Does have the uh, does have the FP advantage? Of what really matters here? Uh, he does actually notice, but he, he does yeah, at the same time lose one. That's yeah. that's okay. Yeah, losing one from that is, is decent. But again, that's his only real hunt he's going for. There's a hunt down the bottom here, which he was quite a far walk really. So he's losing quite a lot of resources there. And no, um, there's, there's going to be some FP oh. or I don't know. I think the mass are quite even. Just give you anxiety. Has just too much anti cav versus uh, no cav at all. Yeah, and there's six uh, Kanya, and that anti cav is actually gonna help GUA now. Um, 
But this, these Forest Powers push forward are actually fine because of the uh, infantry combat now coming in and the War Chief Order, which. Uh, oh, I think that crack shot may have been a mistake, maybe, because it's going to go down. Or maybe not. But, um, yeah, I mean, these Tomahawks are even going to get in there. Uh, if he can. Uh, that going down sort of evens out a bit, but the infantry yeah, combat is. Maybe just... that. If, if he ship just six Kenyans, put a Thomas melee, he could just uh, do a lot of damage. But it still looks quite good for giving anxiety. Yeah, a dictator sort of pushing, but he, he shouldn't have done that. He, he didn't have infantry combat. Infantry combat coming in at sort of the opportune time for GUA there. And I think GUA is just going to clean here. If he can... And this this is clever. He has yeah. one unit scouting all those fields. So now Giving said he has the information that the fields are there. And he knows it, it kind of... Uh, forces dictator to play even more passive yeah because he's, he's hunting completely uncarded exactly and uh there's no way he knows they're up there he knows that um dictator has to push up there for resources there's this hunt here which is was sort of a dictator's third hunt and uh now gua is actually stealing that himself and he's even gonna go on the fire pit by the looks of for, for the uh the war chief now let's get his war chief yeah, that's, back that's up. clever that's clever and, um, yeah, I mean, once that War Chief uh, goes back up, he's just going to push in. He's going to have the extra 15% HP. There's no way Dick is getting back that uh, War Chief without just pushing in there. And uh, he, he has to keep all his units there to stop a raid. Exactly, exactly. And, and where is he mining, actually? Yeah, his mines just ran out, so he has to go up there as well. So he, he just has to camp here, like... Uh... Or try to switch the FP down, but I don't think it's gonna work. But Kim Young said, "What are yeah. you doing? No, don't do this <laughs> yourself. You have the lead. Don't." No. Yeah, he's gonna lose so no many way. villages. There's there. no way he's gonna throw this game like this. I mean, he, he, that's, now villagers are actually equal. He just lost five. It um, was just—it was just a Christmas gift for <laughs> for dictator. That made no sense, and now the echoes are even again. Yeah, but saying that, I mean, the, the military uh, population is heavily in favour of uh, GUA at this point. Um, but now he's going in, but it, it seems a bit messy, like the, half his units are lagging behind. And I think he's going to lose all those Kanyas without having half his army even in the range of attacking. Yeah, exactly. And, I mean, these Kanyas are on the, uh, the forest powers, but they're, they're not doing too much damage because it's like they're going in piecemeal. And they're, Obviously, the musket riders are going to pick them off. Musket riders are on the canyons at the bottom here. A couple of forest riders do come out, but uh, I, I think uh, I think if GUA just Monko is Monko's as well. There's yeah, no he has more stuff, and it looks good for him. Only if there's a pop coming from Dictator, it might save him, but there shouldn't be any coming for maybe one minute. So yeah, they just pop. Is it? Is the, so. the surprise real? If Give Young Side is going to take the first matchup of. Uh, yeah, I, 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 I think nobody saw that coming. Nobody in the world. No, I mean, maybe, maybe give you anxiety had it like saw it coming or had some hope, but yeah, Dick did say he was uh, slightly worse than native sims, uh, as you said before. But uh, five Kenya now even coming in. They have been. Uh, they haven't. Up, they're just colonial Kenya, so obviously they're quite weak. But uh, I don't know what GUA is doing to back here. Yeah, he's just wasting know, he's, units. He's sitting, yeah, he's just wasting units, but, but he can afford. He can afford to waste some, but not all of them. Yeah, he's not that much ahead now, and uh, obviously both uh, have sent their unit shipments. Uh, six first powers, which isn't a premium which shipment is, um, at all. But um, yeah, I, I don't know if it was five cuirassiers that could swing this, this oh, whole. Five cuirassiers going on those uh, those first powers would just clean up. But, yeah, that, uh, that would be. Somehow two of these can you left. And uh, more musket riders are coming in, so the Cursor shipment, which isn't going to come out from either player, I don't think at this point, isn't going to be too bad. And uh, GUA just cleans up here, he's still sieging! This, <laughs> like, it is, it's just an attack move, just attack move. There you go, I mean... I think but he's, he's going he's gonna to do it, it's going to be 1-0 for him, and that's a huge surprise. Yeah, exactly. And, uh, what? I mean, if he gets a couple of canyons up here, it's just over, isn't it? I yeah, he, it is. Tattoo, he, even, even if he doesn't raid the place, I don't know what Dictator can do from this this spot anymore. Oh, another batch of first ballers going up, but obviously well, they're, they're sending this piece now. He's gonna die. Yeah, he's gonna die. Uh, he does send a couple of musket riders off to the side, which aren't gonna do anything. And um, first ballers having quite low siege, so he can just sit here. And uh, but uh, there's the crates coming in for GUA, which is obviously a very strong shipment. 
And um, there's no infantry combat on these forest palaces, so they're just going to trade worse and worse. And when you send a, I mean, only a I mean they're, not, they're not even trading because he doesn't have any units to yeah, defend. Exactly, yeah. But, um... I, I, I think I, I it's think time to say called Chi Chi. I mean, Dick might do a Turk and just not resign. But, um, <laughs> we'll just have to wait and see. Yeah. But, uh... I mean, there is nine, actually, nine ta uh, villages which have just been stuck in there, so... Basically, GUA is sort of like 20 villages up at this point. And, that's GG and here it comes! Much. Whoa, that's... That's a surprise. Yeah, it's quite a big surprise, actually, really. And, um... Yeah, I, I mean... Know. Everything I can say about this game is sit down. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Like, um, <laughs> Sit down. This is a actually... nice performance. Yeah, Just you... domination from the beginning. Winning the H1 and then winning H2 as well and then finishing H3. Yeah, you, you can see by how uh, how well GUA actually tried it there. I mean, the um, I think the infantry combat there was sort of quite big. And, uh... Yeah, but he, he could afford to like, do pretty much anything he wants because he was so many cards ahead. Yeah, okay. exactly. And uh, losing that TP, early TP, and uh, losing the Explorer early was just huge. I mean, that's basically a shit one right there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> And, um, uh, yeah, we're just getting to the next one now. Obviously, um, Dictator right. now has to pick a native civ, so uh, he won't be liking that. And GUA can play Brits or something, which uh, I'm going to assume he does, because it's probably the strongest civ. Yeah. <laughs> So it's going to be Colorado for game two. Yeah, which is a save, uh, no, which is a map which is quite good for. Actually, it's quite good for GUA's Brits in Colorado. It's uh, quite sort of penned in. And... Okay, or is he going to go India? Because he was also practicing oh, India. Was... Yeah, but India Iroquois, I think it's Iroquois favored, isn't it? Or just maybe not. Maybe it's sort of soft favored to Iroquois. Yeah, but I don't know, like, I don't feel like Fritz are really good here either, because this map doesn't have too many hunts and has a lot of TPs. Yeah, actually. I mean, Sue is very strong on this map, obviously, because it's quite uh, quite big. Um, yeah. So, um, just have to wait and see what GUA picks here. Ma as I said, maybe Brits. We did see um, Migo play versus someone as India versus Sue, so that could possibly happen. Um, Here it comes to India. Yeah, India, which um, I mean, we don't. I don't think GU actually plays much India, which is a surprise to me. Um, yeah, but he's been practicing it recently, and and let's be let's be fair. Like uh, India is kind of upgraded Prit. It's like, yeah. Give yeah. you anxiety V two. <laughs> he doesn't have to make manners this time either, so he's uh, <laughs> yeah, he, he's fine. But um, there's Sue coming in, so um, Sue being quite strong against India. We saw Mego nearly losing to uh, Fontier. Um, we, uh, the other day, you actually casted that, didn't you? It was after my series. Yeah, so. yeah, I did. Uh, but maybe I had to do that, not winning. But, uh, thank you, Eddie Holland, for subscribing to Isok. Yeah, I think everyone knows who you are. Um, uh, someone else subscribed before as well, but I've completely forgotten. I'm, I'm sorry about that. But, um, yeah, India Sue, um, I think it matters. I mean, both players want a wood start vote because Sue can get a TP up and, uh, India can get, uh, well, India can get a TP as well, I guess, but, um, we went and see. Did Mika go, um... Mika went Taj Mahal straight away, didn't he? That, that's right, like, Mika did some kind of uh, defensive FF with Taj Mahal. But I'm quite sure Give Anxiety is gonna rush here. Because I think it's his best chance to win this. Uh, yeah, Dick got, um... Dick got a 40 wood treasure in base, which is pretty insane. And a 50 food treasure in base, which are the best two you can actually get on this map. Um... But uh, saying that, GUA got a, a gold star, so he, he doesn't like that, but uh, we just want to see what he does. Dictator does uh, find finds a pretty useless treasure. He finds 110 wood, which is insane, actually. Yeah, that's, I think he should get uh, hunting looks from here. But also, give you anxiety is finding this 95 wood, but this other hero is so far, so I don't know if he's going to get it, because versus Sue, it's always risky. I am, yeah, Mr. I am Turk comes and steals anything you try to clean. Yeah, he does actually, he's going to find a nuke treasure, which is huge, actually, especially versus Sue, because obviously the Sue Explorer is a, a cavalry-type unit, so you can just station that on a trading post, and then 
it sort of beats him down really quickly. Although Manutka doesn't actually have a... Yeah, it does 20 damage a hit, so it's quite substantial. And um, yeah. yeah, and it's kind of bringing safety for giving anxiety. Like, uh, even if, if a dictator gets a lot of guardians, like, uh, he can defend his hero with this, this Notka. Yeah, exactly. He's actually going to go for 95 wood now. So, if Dictator gets that 95 wood, he did go for two TPs in base, which... Um, but he's getting so much damage. Like, he is, is he yeah. even going to get this treasure? I'm not sure anymore. I what think, is Dictator doing? Yeah, what do you, what you want to do normally with this is you want to... Um, you want to sort of run around in circles so the bears can't attack you, and then use the cougar to uh, to tank. But uh, I think he... That cougar's he's, gonna go gonna, going to go down. Is he going to get it? going to get it, but he lost all his HP. Yeah, and especially that Nootkin now. I mean, he has to be really careful. One swing, and yeah, exactly one swing. He's going to go down just in one hit. And he yeah, does exactly. get exactly like, and there's no way he's going to get any more treasures with his HP. No guardians left. Um, he can get the forty wood treasure in base. Although India does see it, I don't think India's going to take it because uh, that'd be pretty silly if he was able to take it. <laughs> like, he's, he's trying to go for it, but oh, I don't, he's posturing around here. But uh, Dictator's now got four TPs in base. Each one, I think, is 3%, isn't it? To your. Uh... He's even going to get 50 food! He's big. <laughs> See? <laughs> because oh, it, yeah, I don't he know. Got it, he got it. Did he get it? And that nuke yeah. is just going to go on that villager and just be annoying. And, um, yeah, I mean, Dictator's now just hiding his explorer. As he needs to keep it alive for the TP. Um, yeah, and he doesn't want to move it to get some HP back. Yeah. And, uh,. He's, he's gonna get the forty wood base. That's insane. <laughs> India having Maybe. an incredible age run. Saying that, Dick did get two hundred and five wood in uh, in age one, which is pretty incredible. You, you know, you don't usually see like uh, India clean treasure from the Sioux base in this match. Of usually, <laughs> the Indian explorer just get completely wrecked. Yeah, India's explorer is actually being the worst in the game in age one. They're pretty dreadful. Yeah, Especially but, versus the suit. Terrible. Versus the Sioux War Chief, they're like useless. <laughs> they are useless. Like they don't make any damage, and they're slower than the Sioux War Chief. They don't have snare yet. The Sioux War Chief does. He does get spotted though. So if that Nuka can come around, um, which he's apparently not going to do, he's just going to sit next to a training post, which is the right idea. Actually, you should, really should be doing that. But um... and it seems like I was wrong. Giving excited is going for. Wait, what's this wonder? Is this Carney? Carney? It, it has to be Carney. Yeah, Carney Martha, which obviously is more defensive. No, it's actually not. It's not more defensive. It's um, well, it is more defensive and it isn't more defensive because obviously the Agri Fort is really strong in age one, and age two you have sort of a blockhouse, a big blockhouse, isn't it? But the Carney Martha does give you a sort of crates to build a barracks with at the start, and he's going to go with a market. And he, it looks like he's going to go for a more eco approach, but uh, I'm not entirely sure that's good against so in this matchup actually. Yeah, I don't know if I like this this Carney Mata because uh, I think Sue is gonna send some raids to his base and he has to make units anyway, so he needs the racks or stable. Yeah, and um, if he can, I don't know. I think he's. I think this is just a mistake because if you wait until fifteen minutes, India at fifteen minute timing is pretty crap, right? It's not particularly great because rifle riders are incredibly strong versus India, obviously, because sepoys are sort of your main line unit, and. Um, yeah, and, we, and the dog soldiers have come out of really strong versus India, so you have to go Zambrak, right? But, yeah, you uh, need to do a lot of Zambraks, and you need to micro them really well. But Zambraks versus Sioux aren't the strongest, because bow riders obviously better, uh, DPS-wise, than, than Zambraks themselves. So, um, yeah, I'm not entirely sure about this build order from uh, GUA. Normally, I mean, you're the one who plays India, normally you play pressure, right, in age 2? Yeah, I like the pressure way. Of course, it's, it's defendable with the TPs, but still, I feel it's so hard to hold the push as India if you go defensive, the timing. Yeah, and um, yeah, that, we'll just have to wait and see what he puts up. It's probably a stable. I mean, Zambrex are quite strong in age two. But um, uh, yeah, well, I don't know what he's doing here. He's putting up a, a consulate of all things first, which uh, soaks up his 200 wood. Um, how much do you actually get from age up? Is it 200 wood or 300 wood from the. Uh, the uh, I don't know, do you think I ever go Carney Mata? <laughs> <laughs> You're asking the wrong player. Um, I, have, I have probably like 2k India games and 2 Carney Matas. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, I mean, the consulate I think is a bit interesting. Obviously, it's an eco sort of consulate, so he's going to go for the um, 
Not military uh, shipment sent here. Yeah, he went for 300 diplomatic intrigue and probably going to go for the, uh, the wood trickle next to be phone logging. But I think that's just too heavy on eco here. I mean, Dick is now making uh, an axe ride, as, as, as we saw. Shipment sent there. We put uh, units in queue. There you go. Four axe riders in queue. Probably four axe riders are going to be shipped after this. Yeah, but and... the thing is that the Ottoman minute minutes, they don't do anything versus Sue because Sue can just run away. It's just going to be a waste of export. Oh, even then, I mean, Ottoman Minutemen do five damage uh, up close like normal Minutemen. And uh, they don't have a multiplier, they're not like Musketeers. Uh, he's going to go for a, a stable and base, but those X Riders are going to get there first, especially when he gets 120 XP from right outside India's base. And, yeah, um, I think if with Minutes, he should be fine. Like, he should be oh, maybe I'll... pushing those axes back a little bit, and then Sambrak should be there, hopefully. I don't know if this is purposeful from Dick, actually, uh, having four, sal uh, four axe riders instead of five, uh, because you could sort of feign sending the shipment, maybe. But uh, it is definitely going to lose the villager here. And, yeah, one's uh, going to go down. And you might even, if he. If Dick can find those two elephants, he's, he doesn't want to pick those up. That's why I think. Yeah, I think it's just. Um wants to avoid the minutes, doesn't want to take any extra damage because he knows they're coming if he goes close to the TC. Yeah, exactly. And, um... Uh... Two, no, only it's two Zambraks. Two Zambraks at 720. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty, uh, that's pretty that's depressing. pretty bad. <laughs> I mean, those two Zambraks are obviously faster, but, uh... With these Sioux Water, if you could actually... A slower than the Sioux Water, so you can actually catch up with them, which is... Yeah, but I, I mean, like, if you're doing slow builds, and you get your first use yeah, you of 720, like, at least, like, 4 or 5, but not 2. <laughs> I like it. Uh, I mean, Dictator now has a couple of bow riders, so the most Zambrex are going to be no... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he he got... excited his point rage now. He got one out. <laughs> he's got, he's... So 2 plus 1, what is going to be the next one? <laughs> yeah, for God. But I think this was on purpose because uh, he wants to edge up. Yeah, but... I mean, if they take the push to just a number... like Even 5 bow riders, it's just going to be so strong. Uh, he can call on Minutemen, but I don't think you really want to. You want to keep the export normally for the... Well, you want to keep it for when you really need it, really. But... Um, He's going to take down these two elephants, which is quite a lot of XP. If you can get it. I think it's still okay for Givion Anxiety. He's starting to age up now, and he has his minutes if he does some market trading, but... Come on, don't what lose all your wheels! Yeah, this wonder placement yeah, is dreadful. You're going to put it close to the TC. He's going to lose those couple of Zambex. He's going to lose those wheels as well, I think, like, because he's not reacting. <laughs> he's going to lose so much here. This is insane. Yeah. I don't know what is he doing. Call the minutes straight from the market. There's the minute men coming up. But those he... are the wrong ones. <laughs> yeah, you want the sentries out and um, yeah, exactly. And he could have called minute men from the Ottoman consulate. Obviously, uh, I think he should have done that as well. Actually, he would have saved. No, a but he, of he changed the ally. He doesn't have the minutes anymore. Oh, that's oh, why? He didn't need to change the ally. There's no point. Yeah, I, I mean, he got 10 HP upgrade for his three Zambraks. <laughs> Actually, if anything, I think it would have been better to stay with the Ottoman consulate against Sue. You just you see way more stuff. Yeah, like those... maybe the minutes are useless, Sue so can run away, but at least you win some time doing that. And now yeah. he's. If those are found, this game is over. I think they're going to they be found. That Carney's also going to. Oh, the food Zambex. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my. Oh, that's so money down. I mean... It was so nice, start, and now it's, it's all thrown away. He's, he's doing well, though, to block with the... Uh, he actually doesn't lose as many as he, as he should have done there. A lot of them go down at half HP. I mean, I don't know why he's going up the charm on our gate here. That one Mahout's going to come out and just die to the bow yeah, basically. I don't know why do, you, why do you want the Mahout <laughs> versus Su? <Sue>, like? <laughs> and, and Conker's going to be up first. So... Yeah. And uh, now Dictator knows the Mahout is coming, so actually he can just like stay under TC and just kill it. <laughs> Imagine if he's also popped sentries, but they're not going to do anything. I mean, he's going to run away here. I mean, sentries versus bow riders are pretty sort of useless anyway. They're not going to get on anything. Um, but uh, he's not even up yet. Dick's probably already sent his, his uh, shipment already. He's got um, more bow riders in queue, and he's just going to have a massive, massive bow riders. And GUA's is slightly head on eco because of Akari and the market upgrades. But yeah, I think GUA's in a rough spot here. Yeah, he is, he is. And this Mahad is, is not going to do anything all game, so... His yeah. HF bonus is, is kind of wasted. So I Although, think 
any other wonder would have been better. Yeah, but I mean, the Matawa victory got we would, which is nice, but... Uh, yeah, that would be nice for Eco. Or even the Taj Mahal is... Uh, it's not as strong as against Eversiv, but... Like, for saving villages, I think it's even worth uh, getting instead of a Chang Lock in this matchup. Although that, um... I don't know if the sentries are doing some damage. Uh, yeah. The hero might go down. Yeah, there's, there's a couple of Zambax are paying off now. I mean, if that hero goes down, it's quite it's quite big, really. I mean, I believe he's slightly quicker, though. He is. He's 7.76 speed and 7.75. Yeah, he's going to get away with low HP. And uh, there's not no Makino. And this is quite a formidable army here. I mean, Elite Bow Riders are really quite strong. Um, I don't know. I just think this looks so terrible for Give You Anxiety. He has less eco as India, and he's just trapped inside his own base. Soon he's going to run out of free sources. And I think Sue Army is going to just crush whatever fight is coming yeah exactly and uh and so with those tps i mean i think one mistake that dick has done here is not going up with bison obviously with all those tps around and going up with bison against the same which can be a bit aggressive here too is, is really quite strong and but um he's he's going to use the wakinas to build some tps next to his forward base and he's going to pick up those um pick up those villagers and just use them to uh to take meat from them so actually i think dictator's way ahead of nico now especially if you consider the tps acting on the uh, villagers yeah there. he's he's and he, it shouldn't be the case usually india should have way better eco than su because su army is way better yeah exactly and uh i mean he does have a, number, a lot of zambrex now but uh there's still only just age two zambrex he doesn't have uh what he wants to have here which is a uh, camel attack or yeah. Yeah, I think Camel Attack is better than Desert Terror, right? Desert Terror is what you said afterwards? Yes, it's better, but the thing is now he's H3, so I don't think he's going to ever send it. No. Because it's just better to send units at this point when he's going to run off Hunt soon. I don't know, he, he should have gotten this Hunt to his base early, and now it's it's too late, I'm afraid. Yeah, and um, I mean, so actually has a bigger army even before he sent the big button. And he's he is slightly below in score, but I think India is just in this matchup ahead in score most of the time anyway. But... Um, yeah, I mean, what I'm can... just trying to get a get a hunt, but it's gonna, gonna get denied. Yeah, those like, Wakinas are gonna. The hunts are gonna move. Oh, and the now. red coats. No, he's gonna, gonna die. Hours. Yeah. There's one or two going down. I mean, he's gonna get pushed here. Cavalry combat coming in as well, which is obviously very strong for Sue. And it's it nearing more and more to that um that timing at uh, 15 minutes that Sue has at 15 and 1,500 food. And these Gurkhas, again, do get... Uh, actually, no, they outrange you, Wakinas. So they're the only skirmishes they do outrange. That Mahout in front. Then, maybe, maybe it's actually going to do something, <laughs> surprisingly. Okay, no, it's, it's just going to die. I don't really understand why um, why Koko is actually pushing this, if I'm honest. As he knows that Sue, um, Sue has to sort of wait for that big button to, to be more aggressive. Well, yeah, but there's so many Sambrak, so I don't know if the big button would do much. I think this is a good fight for, for Dick, yeah. after all. And especially with a couple more Wakinas coming out back. Yeah. And, um, I mean... Yeah, he's, he's gonna crush this fight. Give you anxiety is overestimating those Sambrooks. They don't actually do anything. Which is not a uh, yeah, heavy I mean... handcuff, so... Yeah, and the bow riders obviously are very strong against Sambrooks. But still, those Gurkhas are quite good with the, with the Mansapar and the Consulate. Yeah, I mean, better than Wakinas, definitely. Wakinas being... Somewhat weaker skirmishes, but um, actually he's, he's cleaned up all the skirmishes here. Yeah, he's doing okay, surprisingly well. And intervention coming in. There's nine redcoats being quite a strong shipment. I think nine sepoy is actually better, but uh, that's up to him. But um, yeah, I mean, the bow riders. He's gonna get pushed off here. And he has to get back. He hasn't got enough um, cavalry units here, and somehow Chiyue is gonna push him off here. Yeah, I, I don't even know how this happened. It's, it seemed like the Sioux had. Massive army, like, uh, but just Gurkhas with the monster power are quite good in the end. Much yeah. better stats than Makinas. Well, I was saying that he doesn't have a huge amount of Zambrex and uh, Zambrex left. And he, I think he's just put the, uh, the Redcoats into the same group, which is obviously a mistake. But um, it is getting up to about 15 minutes, and uh, he is now. What is, what is Dick doing? Uh, he's Dick idling is... all, this, all these bills. I don't know exactly. Oh, I guess they're going to other um, hunts now. Yeah, but he's he's war dancing, but he's not really in a, a big fight here, so I don't know why he's doing oh, that. Oh, that's, that's why he's not gathering. Yeah, I don't know why is he dancing, because the army mass is still quite low. So I don't know if the dance is going to do too much here. Yeah, he doesn't have his uh, uh, his explorer there. His explorer's actually down there. He's probably 
more, more likely actually just to get that guy back up. But he's just losing more, more mass here. Which isn't good at all. And now it's, it's going to melee the Vakinas. <laughs> but this is kind of risky because now if he loses all his anti cav and then I don't know, like if something like Big Pattern would pop, like it would be so bad. But lucky for him, Dictator doesn't really have any food stacked. He has yeah, five exactly. Axe riders, but the muskets are gonna do okay. Yeah, and a, and a couple more uh, Zabex do come in, thankfully. But Man, um, like, is Kiwi Anxiety really gonna win this game as well? What is going on? Yeah, he shouldn't be winning this game, in my opinion, but, um. I mean. Those Zabex are. He's just, he's just bringing in units piecemeal, which is not what you wanna do. I mean, maybe he's more used to Treaty where you can spam out 100 units in 5 <laughs> yeah. seconds, but like... But here you can't. In Supremacy, you don't want to be doing that, you want to be... And, and he's still classic. dancing with so many wheels, like, and he has a... Uh, 4 military population, so... Yeah, that one he's still dancing for can... one unit. <laughs> yeah, the, the Bovard is now getting 4 extra attack. Uh, for one unit, which is uh, obviously worth 15 villagers dancing. But, um, he doesn't have a mass here at all. By the looks of it, he's now gonna just, uh... He's still dancing. I don't understand what is he doing. Like, this is where no practice for the shows. Like, no yeah. sub games for well, one month. Saying that, if yeah, if Coco was able to get the uh, the big button out, he would clean up these uh, these units here. There's, there's but he's, he's gathering with eight fields right now, <laughs> and others are dancing or. or well, he's bringing more to dance. I know he's not. He's finally brought them off, but. I don't understand this. I mean, Dictator is still sort of same level at Eco, but he's just so far behind in um, in population wise of, of his units. And these these Gurkha are just insane now. I mean, he's got um, British East India Company. He's probably going to get a Mansabar back. Uh, I would be surprised if he didn't. Yeah, he's got it back right now. But um, those units are just going to be ridiculous. And yes, he has a I... lot of. Go ahead. Like like. He could just go to right click the TC right now and I don't know, type sit down on the way and finish this game. Yeah, exactly. And um Yeah, I mean I, I mean maybe even Yorumi would be a strong shipment to send here, even if it's in the mass. Uh, maybe not actually, maybe he wants to send something like uh, he's got two howlers in deck actually. <laughs> oh, but that's good. That's good for him because um like the only way to lose this game anymore is losing the big button because Jake just sent three dog shoulders. And from Big Pardon, I think he's going to get six, six or seven more. So it's going to be it's... ten Dog Soldiers. Yeah, exactly. Which is actually really strong. Dog Soldiers being sort of house on steroids or Lancers on steroids, really. But, but now um... if... Yeah, sorry. If Give You Anxiety is looking at the score, it just jumped 30 points. So he should know the Big Pardon just came out. Yeah, and uh, look at text being researched. Uh, there it is. And uh, yeah, that's quite a lot of units there. Uh, the dog soldiers. Uh, so he's got nine, I believe, actually. Yeah, nine, and he's got a couple of Wakinas there, but he only has but, a single upgrade. And... Yeah, this army still isn't really scary. No, and uh, I mean, it's a huge amount of Gurkha there. Sepoy there as well, which are uh, influenced by the British East India Company. But look how many uh, Zambak there. Even the Mansa Barsa uh, Zambak is there. Although the positioning he's got there isn't isn't good. It's, it's not the greatest. But still, he has so much more units, so I think if he micros even decently, he should be able to win this fight. Or at least trade good enough to win this game. Yeah, I mean, basically all of the Dog Soldier threat is now down. I mean, uh, five Rifleers do come out, but that's basically useless. A little bit late, they're a, bit, a little bit late. Like, he already got wrecked by this by the sea poise and muskets. Yeah, this, this game is just over at this point. Yeah, I give uh, you excited, it's, it's gonna take it 2 0, and I think nobody saw that coming. No, I, I think wow. no, no, nobody did. I mean, Dictator um, is sort of in the higher echelons of the, of the game. Yeah, and just, just imagine all this happened without Brits. Yeah. It's main Steve. Maybe it's actually just that GUA has been held back by playing Brits all this time. Maybe, maybe. <laughs> now he found India and he's gonna become the best player in the game. Yeah, now you've retired, I mean. The title's up for the best India player. I mean, he's he's gonna push forward now. He's gonna get me two more hot down by the looks of it. And GG, GG, sit down. Yeah, two 0 to to GUA. Not so anyone would really expect. Like and to be fair, like this India gameplay, it looked quite decent. Like in the beginning, it was a bit struggling to get units out, but in the mid game, it was really good. Yeah, right exactly. Should, should we do the IP check now? 
<laughs> yeah, I think it's no, GUA playing. I think it's definitely a GUA playing. Yeah, it but is, um, it is. you can see at the end, even with a big button, he goes to 40, 46 military population, Dick. But he, he just gets flattened by the Indian army, which at this point is uh, uh, it's just, well, I mean, it's just too upgrade. You know, even the Zambrex without any upgrades on them are just uh, pretty incredible versus Sue at that point. And um, I think it was just I... that, that fight he took earlier, which was just a mistake. Yeah, it was a mistake, and I felt like he could have punished uh, Kivy Anxiety early in the TC. Like, there were so many wheels just around, and he just got all of them low HP, but didn't really kill too many of them. Exactly. I mean... Like, like for example, look at this corner. Are you still in the game? I am in the game, yeah. Just, just look at the, uh, yeah, the top, top corner. Yeah, corner. Know. Like, he has, like I don't know, like seven low HP wheels, and I think they do all the damage early game. Yeah, he could have just been raiding all that time. Uh, yeah, two of them are just on, like, 2 HP. Which... Yeah, I think he could have killed, like, five wheels more. Like, yeah, look at the... Mo the villagers coming off of mine. Two of them are on, like, 20 HP themselves. Yeah, GUA would have been down five uh, villagers, and he would have not been able to get the mass he would have been able to get up. But I I, just, I think it just came down to pushing uh, what he did, which was just a mistake for GUA, really. But, um... Yeah, if you just look at all resources together, Conquer was actually ahead for quite a long time. I mean, GUA was bunged up in that, in his TC. <laughs> Uh, even though he went for such a, an eco-heavy build, which maybe shouldn't have worked. But um, we're going to go into the next game straight away. Uh, but it's going to be a match point for Give You Anxiety. It's going to get yeah. three match points. And um, GUI actually gets to pick first again, and, and Conquer does... I don't know what kind Conquer pick. Um, I don't know. Maybe India? Yeah, but does he have to pick a DWC save or not? No, 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 he can pick any sieve now, I okay. think. Okay, Give you anxiety has to take TVC. I'm, I'm not completely sure about the rules. Yeah, I'm not particularly sure about the rules either. But, um, I think he can pick whatever he wants. Maybe he, it's newer championship rules, at least. Um, do you know what they're waiting for? Because No, uh, maybe it's... Dictator is, is trying to... I don't know, get this, get this game back together. Uh, I'll just look them up now. I can I can hear your Russian uh, roommate. I know, just, uh... I know. <laughs> <laughs> um, what are we looking at here? Uh, it is the yeah. I think now it's dictator is gonna look any save, and yeah, but then I think it's new... side is gonna respond. Isn't it newer championship rules? Yeah. Okay, and it seems like <clears throat> Dig is playing France, which is kind of standard. Yeah, actually, no, you are right. It's it's not New York Championship rules. It's um, it's a weird mix. So yeah, Dictator has to pick first, and then GUI has to counter pick with a TWC civilization. Yeah, and it's can he play Iro again? He can play any Civ he wants to again. Okay, so, he so he's as... probably going to go for Iro. Yeah, I mean, Iro is actually just the better version of France, isn't it? So, um, oh, it isn't quite the better version of France, but it is just better than France, I think, in, in the current meta. Um, I don't know, maybe you, or maybe you're listening to Kaiser too much. Yeah, I mean, I basically parrot Kaiser, if I'm honest. <laughs> I, mean, I think but... France has a decent chance against yeah, Iro. Yeah, or obviously... that's okay. I think it's quite fair mess up. Yeah, France getting cannons, which is uh, quite a struggle, obviously, again, to acquire. But um, we just have to wait and see. I mean, it's just up to him to pick. He can pick Aztec, he can pick Sue, which... Uh, Sue versus France is quite an equal matchup, I think. Uh, Aztec versus ah, but France. he's going to go Iro. I think he can't play yes. any other TVC save, as far as I know. What map is it as well, do you know? <laughs> it's the same one, I think. Why is it Colorado twice? That seems a bit... Um, because it's to make the rules fair, because, you know, some maps have better Guardians, and some maps are way better for TVC Civ, so that's why they're playing double, so it's fair. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's fair. So yeah, Konko actually, um, basically 2-0 down now, it's match point for GUA, he has to, you can reverse sweep, obviously, but uh, it's a bit harder to do, especially when you don't have too much practice on Supremacy. Um... But uh, we'll just wait and see. This matchup might be slightly better for Conquer because Conquer obviously play, likes to play um, 
vanilla sims and the tad sims he doesn't quite like to play the uh, twc sims yeah i think so too. but still i'm surprised what happened last game because i think i've seen dick playing sue before and at least people say it's quite good matchup for sue i don't know just give you an anxiety some fire a lot yeah. of practice like he's been even watching like uh, the land games to learn how to play the saves. Yeah, he was watching. Like, um, he was watching Kaiser versus Tabon, I think, in the, the, uh, the because it, it seems like he's playing this game to get better. Like really improve. Like he's watching streams. He's um, watching the games, watching builds and so on. I don't know. Maybe next year, give you anxiety. It's gonna be top player. Who knows? Who knows? Yeah, maybe he's the new Tabon. Maybe he's uh, after what ten years of playing the game. He's he's finally gonna be <laughs> like, the top suddenly player. suddenly <laughs> find some kind of a magical. Yeah, magical boots being sort of the best Magic, player. Not yeah. playing boots is, is is his key to uh, success. But uh, yeah, did... I think so. I, I think he should forget Pritz forever. That's the reason he never got to the top. Too much Pritz. <laughs> but uh, uh, but he's gonna get a training post. Goku in age one. He also had a yeah, forty wood. Nice start. Forty wood um, training base, which is pretty insane. But, but also Kimi Oxide is gonna get one. Yeah, and honestly, I think he should have scouted a bit more, GUA, anyway, because if he scouted a little bit more, he would have found us 110 wood, which would have saved him quite a lot of villager seconds getting the wood. But um, that's all in hindsight. You might pick him up later, which uh, would be nice. But um, And so, 95 years, so all the good treasures are pretty much on his side. Yeah, uh, although, um, actually, yeah, I think basically all of them are. I mean, Manutka is here, which uh, Dick wants to take almost definitely, because... Um, if you can use that Nutka to just lame reach uh, the Iroquois Travoy when it comes out, it's pretty insane. But uh, and actually, Gway is gonna miss the, uh, the pass pretty heavily. Uh, yeah, he does, but I don't think it's a too big of deal. Oh, no, it's, it's two, is it on this map? I thought it was only one. Yeah, it's not two. Yeah, it's it's two. So he's not missing that much XP, I think. Oh, Dick gonna pick up 150 coin, which isn't anything to sniff at. That's quite gets, nice, but yeah. he doesn't have a market though, so he can't use it for a while. Yeah, but it allows him just to get uh, hunting dogs and uh, stealth traps basically for free uh, if you discount the wood. But um, other than anyway, that, anyway, it seems like Kivi Anxad is gonna get one hundred ten wood, which is really nice. Yeah, he's definitely. No, so he's does he's converting this. He's taking a lot more damage uh, than he needs to take actually. Yeah. I mean, that's not the best Guardian, but the treasure itself is really nice. Yeah, exactly. And uh, well, Dictator might come across the 95 wood, so we might have a bit of a contention here. And uh, because he took so much damage, actually, the uh, Iroquois Explorer, I don't think he can really... Oh, no, he can contest it, actually. He I think trait? he can, because he can always crack shot the, the scout down. Yeah. And... Uh, oh, he's gonna... But I think he hasn't seen it so far. He's going to get a scout, though, and the scout obviously is a very good treasure. No, he has seen 95 wood. Is well, that why is he not contesting it? Because I feel like uh, he's maybe he's trying to get, going to try and get the um, his scout and then just contest it. But uh, he's not going to have enough time, is he? No, he's not going to have enough time. Weird. It's weird. Like uh, he should definitely go and steal it. He can just crack shot the scout, and the guardians are going to make so much damage that he's going to have more HP as well. Exactly, and. Um, at the end of the day, I mean, the market's now going to go down, so Conquer's going to have an incredibly quick market, not going to have to get too much wood in transition, and um, he's going to have a pretty good age one, actually. And Givy Anxiety is going for fast age up, so it's going to be... It's going to rush hard, which is not really surprising. Although, against, against France, is it too strong? Because obviously your your fortress as Iroquois is quite strong as well. And France can defend quite easily against uh, Iroquois, I believe. Yeah, I, I think it's not the best strat, but on the other hand, if Dictator is is out of shape, let's say, like the previous games, and he's gonna lose a few CDPs to Fork Kanya, then it's probably good. And for example, this CDP is really uh, far. Yeah, but uh, no, Goat Goats are kind of coming in, so those CDPs are quite tanky, so I don't think he'll lose too many if he's careful. Which is quite nice. Uh, obviously, Dictator does put his uh, war hut down, but the scout doesn't actually spot it because he can't see foundations. But he's he's going to spot it when the uh, trap boy goes up. But uh, yeah, I mean, Dictator's now going to get his, uh, his upgrades, and he's he's going to get still traps as soon as the ages. Obviously, he's going to go up before the wood. I think there's no doubt in that. And uh, because it was such a fast age up, I think it's sort of uh, Dick's going to know that it's. Um, 
It's probably yeah, he's gonna know it's and it's like he's already moving the CDP closer because he knows the Kenyans are gonna be on the way soon and he doesn't wanna risk because he has one hunt in his base already. Yeah, exactly. And um I mean that four he's gonna go for probably a barracks, right? And uh more than likely uh, maybe even crossbow pike if you guys have a two barracks, we'd have to see what he ships. But uh, maybe muskets. Oh no, he's coming, yeah. and they're going to base. Yeah, it's a bit of a mistake. <sighs> That's basically wasting sort of fifteen seconds of the advantage you had. And, yeah, and um, those fifteen seconds are so important. Yeah, because by the time he gets him now, he's probably going to have a, a, a batch of musk out, which actually he's not, but he's popped. But he's, he's going to get a house up quickly and get one it's, down. It's kind of a wasted fast stage up if you're. Canias are going to be delayed. Yeah, Resi, the five. The thing is, though, Dick can hold us really, really easily, actually. He might lose a, a, a Cœur de Bœuf. A CDB. Cœur de Bœuf. Cœur de Bœuf. Okay, let's see if Cœur de Bœuf goes down. <laughs> it's close. Okay, it doesn't go down. But, but yeah, now he the Tomahawks are one. harassing, and I don't know if Dictator doesn't have the resources for minutes. He's missing 30. He can, he can trade it. He can just. Oh, uh, he, he just... He's, he's got enough. And he's going to bring yeah. them out. He's going to use them to tank. Um, if those, as soon as those five muskets that come out, it's going to be completely fine. Although, Not he needs to pop the money man out at the same time, if he can. Yes, I know. Okay, he's doing it. He's doing it. But oh, this is going to be enough. Now the muskets are going down really, really fast for crack shot. The hero is still high HP. Seven and a lot of oh. left. Yeah, can you imagine if that was just, uh, I don't know, sort of eight muskets or even three yeah, I think if, if Kiwi Young sent this mic for this well, he's not going to lose too many units. And Although, then Dictator is going to be completely stuck inside inside his TC. Yeah, exactly. Although Dictator, if he can if he can sort of handle this well, he can he can use his CDBs out. And he, maybe he can hold it. I don't know. But uh, I assume he's going to get uh, Blunderbuzz in the second. He should probably buy for Blunderbuzz actually at this point. If he's going to do what I think he's going to do. Which and now one Cura de Bu is, is going to go down. <laughs> I I shouldn't have said it like that. <laughs> second, <laughs> second one, second one is gonna go down. Uh, I got a coup de bois. Second it's one. Go oh, Kieran de Boo is down. <laughs> oh, Kieran de Boo is down. <laughs> it lost three, it lost three. That's, that's um, massive. And uh, now I think the bow should be coming any moment. And because no. Yeah, that has to be. Left, Where's the bow? He's gonna pop up with CDB. At the but he's gonna get the snare with the, with the Tomahawks. Yeah, and I mean, a crack shot as well. Yeah, he wants to pop them out now. I mean, he yeah, wants the terrible to... pop, the terrible pop for him. Yeah, he's gonna he's... lose half of them already, and just more and more tomahawks are coming in. Seven, Seven nine as, well. as well. Yeah, I mean, this is basically RV uh, at this point, isn't it? He got the TP down range one, and it's just insane. Um, he, he, I mean, credit to Dictator, he, he does get the, um, the CDBs out and sort of do chip damage, but that's all he's gonna have now. And at the end of the day, the only shipment he can send here, he doesn't have, um, doesn't have a. Uh, CM and deck. He only really send three hussars, and Gibby uh, already knows that. I'm I'm starting to wonder how many beers I had last night because I just can't believe Gibby Young side is taking Dick three zero <laughs> down. Like, in which world could this happen? Yeah, I mean, he doesn't even have blunderbuzz. Buy blunderbuzz. Buy buy food. Buy get yeah, extra three down. He doesn't have any resources. He has only crates of food in, in front yeah, of his base, which he cannot use. He can buy, he's got a market, he can buy it up now, but he's just losing more and more CDBs here. <laughs> and now the Rex is gonna go down, and I think the only military unit left is three Hussars. But I don't know, oh, he's trying to snap the saying that I don't. I don't know why GUA is constantly making hyenas, he knows he can only make Hussars here. And uh, when yeah, the Tomahawk's good. Why is GUA making. Oh, well, there's a couple more Tomahawks coming out, but if those. If the Hussars do come out now. Yeah, yeah, it? and they're there, and the Anas are gonna get cleaned, and Tomahawks are also taking a lot of TC fire. No, come yeah. on, Gimex, they don't lose it anymore. You already won it. <laughs> Just put the melee. How is how is GUA not? Um, he's only two villages ahead. That's what I'm yeah, amazed like, about. How is he? What? He's, I think he's keeping bills so far. <laughs> and now he's six, no, come on, don't six, 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 oh. no, no, don't do it. This is. Oh, he's such a commanding position, but he's he's just gonna bloody. He's, he's throwing it. But, he is. Those six hussars to take like, basically any damage. If he can imagine, if Dick had C uh, CM now, it would be insane. Yeah, but I think nobody has CM as France. But like is... here, it would be useful. He doesn't. Uh, have... No, Cura <laughs> is going down. <laughs> oh, he's losing not... so many. He does so many. 
and now the hustle. I don't know why is he taking this fight because he just <laughs> he just can't take it. That hustle's done so more, much more is, damage. Is he resigning? Like he has 13 curas <laughs> left, and even those are low HP. He's gonna lose another one. Put it back in town. Yeah, I, th I think he gave up. He gave up already. He has, he's, yeah, he has. Done. He's thinking he's about his life right now and what happened to his. Maybe he's thinking about. Okay, let's. I. I don't want to be cruel. <laughs> yep. Oh my god. <laughs> I mean, he cleaned up, but he has 11 CDPs. <laughs> and he doesn't have a hunt either. Yeah, you go. That's the GG. Um, if that's Sit seven. Down, like, yeah. What? <laughs> 3-0 to GUA, I mean, we're lower seed. That's unexpected. Maybe GUA is going to fucking clean this tournament up. He's... That's I, I want to see his face right now. You know, like, how he's always, like, uh, scratching after he wins, like, yeah. putting his hands on. Oh, yeah, I, I think I played this pretty good. <laughs> going to be on top of the world. But uh, yeah, imagine but... if that 700 wood was, like, 8 crossbow or 3 hustles. Yeah, or anything else. Like, the wood was the worst shipment you can send at that point. Yeah, exactly. And, um, actually, who does Dictator... No, not, Dictator doesn't actually play anyone next to... Uh, sorry about that, but uh, who does GUA play next? I don't know, but does it matter? If he plays like this, he's gonna play his to finals. Exactly, and uh, let's have a look here on the uh, on, um, ESOC. Um, War Chiefs Classic. Uh, brackets. God, it's so confusing. I don't know where the brackets are for this tournament, so um, I have no clue. But he, he plays someone better than uh, uh, Conquer, we assume. But um, well, yeah, this is gonna be easy for giving anxiety. Yeah. Anyway, like Just this was this sweet. was amazing performance. Like uh, like he tried to throw every game so hard, but then in the end he he kept his lead and won. Yeah, exactly. And uh, <laughs> Deck only had eight crossbows as his unit count there. Which is uh, which is good, but uh, yeah, I think um, I think Gio actually did skip villagers there. No, he didn't. I don't know how he was he so far behind. Um, no, I think he just didn't send any uh, villager shipments. Yeah, exactly. But um, yeah, I think that's us done actually for the day. Unless you wanted to cast whatever Mito played, but I don't. No, really I want to. I think I'm gonna go now. Well, yeah. thanks for watching and thanks for casting. Yeah, thanks for casting, Sophie, and uh, thanks for watching. See you. Guys.